My coaches have been integral parts of my team. I I need needed someone to rein me in, um, and that was the value of, of the coach as much as as their expertise. Um, someone to control me, someone to stop me doing too much, someone to tell me to rest when I wasn't able to myself. The second benefit for me had nothing to do with the physical training, it was the psychological training, especially my, my first triathlon coach or my first professional triathlon coach, Brett Sutton. Um, he, he changed my mind in, in so many ways and made me into the, a warrior that I wasn't previously. Yes, he enabled me to um, enhance my talent, my physical talent, but he totally changed me psychologically. Basically, when I went to him, he said, look, you'll be a success physically, but only if I chop your head off. And that's what he proceeded to do. Chop the head off that I had, put a new head on so that I could think calmly under pressure, so that I wasn't overly analytical, um, so that I didn't question everything, because that's what I was like. Um, and so I think the benefit for me personally was as much psychological as it is as it is physical. Not all coaches are made equal. And unfortunately for us, it's a bit of a minefield because you can pay 300 quid, go on a level one coaching course, and call yourself a coach and charge, you know, 100 pound, 200 pound a, a month. You know, so. If you are going to get a coach, make sure that it's the right coach for you with the right level of experience. And that's really, really important. Otherwise, you may be better off, you know, working through, you know, programs or asking friends than working with a coach that doesn't understand you and your life. But for me, very valuable.